Well, this is One World Yachts, and today we are in beautiful Fort Lauderdale, Florida, looking at a 50-foot Sea Ray Sundancer, 1996 model. This boat has the preferred Caterpillar 660 horsepower engines, with only a little over 800 hours, maybe about 804, 805. The boat's in overall nice condition. Uh, you can use a little bit of TLC and maybe the love of a new owner. Uh, this owner's owned the boat for many, many, many years. Uh, the wife is a little sick and it's difficult for her to boat. And the husband is extremely busy and difficult for him to boat. So they've decided to get something smaller and allow someone to reap the benefits of this boat. She's in very nice condition. Uh, has a 13 and a half kW generator with low hours, newer electronics, newer interior carpeting. This particular one has the camper canvas enclosure back here. Uh, very popular feature. Nice size swim platform. Uh, hydraulic lift, so you can see. Canvas is in okay shape. Paint is in good shape. Uh, pinstriping is in so-so shape. I don't know if you can see it, it's getting a little bit faded. These screens could get to be replaced. Um, stainless is all good. Doesn't appear to be any leaks or anything. Fenders are dirty. Uh, air conditioner is nice and cold inside. And we take a little trip inside and show you what we have here. Hopefully I can do this semi-gracefully. There's a little hole opening and a big guy trying to get through. But let's see if we can't do this. I have a seating for an army back here. I have on the transom this little bench seat here. Nice circular seating. That was very common for the 50. It was the only layout they had actually on the 50 Sea Ray. Um, nice space in here. So seat and army all over the place. Nice helm station. This carpeting is pretty good in here. I'll take still pictures of the engine room. I'll go over to the helm. I have the Garmin GPS Map 7212, Raytheon, Caterpillar controls, Pilot B and G. You know, Ray Chart, Raytheon. Besides that, everything's nice. You can see that the cushions are in great shape. It's like a green piping on them. Not all molded that you would normally see, especially in like this area up here. These are all white, white. It's been kept nicely. Let's go inside and I can use some of that air conditioning. Four steps down, and we walk into. I'm gonna close this and keep the air conditioning in. A really nice space here. Uh, huge salon, sofa that converts, nice size galley, two heads, new carpeting. I have a flat screen Samsung TV, a nice 
nice entertainment, electrics, electronics, good cabinet space. Three burner stove top, microwave, trash compactor, good size refrigerator, freezer. Look aft, plenty of seating area, nicely lit. Headliners all in good condition, walls are in good condition. Windows don't show any evidence of leaking, but those screens need to be replaced. This grate can, is dirty. It's fabric. Um, that should get replaced. Forward stateroom would be the master. Of a uh, very, very large bed. It's odd shaped. It's probably in between a queen and a king. Probably closer to a king, but it's set on a diagonal. vanity here, good drawer space, good closet space, end suite head with a shower stall and a toilet, single sink, it's tiled in here, go back aft, we have a guest berth with a full and a twin on top. That's um, hanging for the tabletop outside. That's Jack and Jill door for the head. We have a toilet in the shower stall. Works as a bench seat. Single sink. Tiled floor once again. Two bar stools. It's a nice little boat. A little 50 foot boat, a little boat. Huh? It's a nice boat. Single washer and dryer unit. Good storage throughout. It's kept very clean. It's 1996. She's priced right. This is a good boat. This will make a family really happy. Um, low hours on the Caterpillars. Most of its life, it's been a freshwater boat. It was just brought down here to Florida. And like I said, a doctor and his wife need to get rid of it. Fabric's very nice. Everything's nice on this boat. So, I'm out. Let me go back up top real quick. But you've pretty much seen it all. If you have any questions, this is One World Yachts.